Calendly versus Acuity. Which one is better for scheduling appointments? Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be comparing Calendly with Acuity and we'll figure out which one of these platform is better for you to use for your appointment and meeting scheduling. I will be comparing their pricing and different features to help you make an informed decision that which platform is perfect for your business and everyday needs. Let's get started. Up first, we have Calendly.com. Calendly.com is one of the very famous scheduling uh, meeting. Calendly is one of the very famous scheduling platform that allows you to schedule meetings professionally and efficiently, and it helps you eliminate the hassle of back and forth emails. With Calendly, we get all the right features and tools that you look for in a appointment scheduling software. Getting started with Calendly is really easy. You can simply click on this option right here, which says get a demo, or maybe you can click on log in. And then we can actually sign up with just our email address on Calendly. It's really easy to sign up for. All you have to do is enter your email address, or we can also sign up with our Google account and Microsoft. So once you sign up, then you will get your own dashboard on Calendly. Before we get into the features of Calendly and I show you the dashboard, let's quickly go ahead and check out the pricing plan. So we will have an idea about the affordability of the platform. So with Calendly, we are actually getting five plans. We have a basic plan, which is going to be free forever. So Calendly is available for free. That's good. Then we have an essential plan, which is going to be $8 per state per month. A professional plan, which is the most famous one as well, $12 per seat per month. And then there is a Teams plan, which is good for your team. And it is going to be $16 per user per seat per month. And an enterprise that you can contact with the team in order to customize your features for customized pricing. So these are the pricing plan if you are built annually. Not that expensive, pretty reasonable pricing. You can get started with any of the plans. Once you get started, then you will be able to get your own dashboard. So this is our dashboard right here on Calendly. You can see right here, a pretty basic platform with all the right features and tools. You can see we have event types. We have scheduled events where I will be able to check all of my events that I have scheduled. We get workflow, routing firms. Then we have home and availability option. Let me show you how we set availability on Calendly because this is an important part when it comes to scheduling softwares. So on Calendly, you can see we have our own weekly hours. We can go with any kind of weekly hours. If we want to go with calendar days, we can go with that or we can go with working hours. Then we can also create a brand new schedule from this option right here. We can select the events that we want to add to this schedule right here. We can also select the time zone. All time zones are available. Similarly, once you have selected the days, then we can customize the timing. So you can customize the timing for each day. For example, I can just add the time right here. Maybe we can go for 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. There you go. Now I can also remove the interval if we want to and we get new interval option as well so with calendly we can add two intervals in a day for our appointment scheduling we can also copy the time to other days if we want to and then of course i can actually customize any time uh, right here on any of the days and it will be added to my schedule so availability option is pretty good let's go back to home simply click on this option right here and now we get different options in event type. We're getting four options. We have one on one meeting. We have group meeting, collective and round robin. So if you want to create a one on one meeting, we get a lot of different options, such as we can select location and in location on Calendly, we're getting the option of WebEx, custom zoom in person. So it's really good for scheduling meetings. Um, we also get our own custom link. Then we can also add questions within our meetings to ask our um, attendees. We can also schedule it. We can add reminders for our meetings that we create right here on Calendly. So it's a very customizable and a basic platform with all the features that we look for. And it will allow you to schedule events, 
and you will be able to set appointments very easily and it will help you save a lot of time and get more productive now let's move on to our other platform which is equity what you have to do is simply go to equityscheduling.com and you will land on this platform right here equity scheduling is powered by squarespace and it really works well with websites now the first difference between equity and calendly is that with calendly we can actually schedule our everyday meetings and we can also integrate to our websites but equity is actually created for squarespace to add scheduling and appointments to a website so when it comes to equity getting started is really easy you can simply click on try it out now and you will be able to sign up with your google account or your email you will be able to sign up with your google account or your email address very easily once you sign up this is where you will get and this is our basic dashboard that we get on equity i will show you what are the different features and tools we're getting uh, let's quickly go ahead and check out the pricing plan for equity so you can see right here we're getting three plans we have an emerging plan which is going to be 14 dollars per month and six percent annually then we have a growing plan which is going to be $23 per month and a powerhouse which is going to be $45 per month. So if we compare the pricing plan of Equity and Calendly, Calendly is cheaper than Equity because you can see right here, um, this is the pricing plan for Equity. Once you select the plan of your choice, then you can simply sign up for Equity. So for Equity, you will actually require a website too. And you will be able to add an appointment scheduling option on your website. Let's check out the availability, how we added the availability hours on Equity. So right here on Equity, you can see set hours availability. So we are getting the days right here. We can save regular hours or which is like nine to five, or we can simply go ahead and customize it the way we want to. Just like on Calendly, we can simply type in the time we want to, and we can actually add time for each day separately. Now, what I can do is I will, maybe I am available from nine to three. Simply click on enter and it will be added right here. Similarly, I can go for Tuesday. You just have to type. Let me show you. Even if I type 729 and enter, you will see that it will actually customize it into AM and PM. So similarly, it's very easy to add different hours for each day. We can also select client scheduling days and we can actually add hours and days right here and save limits so that clients will not be able so that we can actually customize our clients and organize them better. So we don't get this option on Calendly, the client scheduling limits. Then when it comes to one-on-one -on -one meetings, when it comes to appointment types, as we had event types on Calendly, we have appointment types right here on our equity. So to create a new appointment type, you can actually go ahead and add a, you know, name, for example, a therapy appointment. Then we have the duration so you simply select the duration it's going to be in minutes so we can go for 120 minutes then you can simply go ahead and add a price so you can see the basic difference between calendly and equity is that equity is for our websites and it allows us to add different options to our website we can add different appointments we can add services that we sell on our website on our squarespace website right here with equity while with Calendly, we can actually schedule everyday events and everyday meetings. When it comes to adding a new type, you can also select public or private. Click on appointment type and it will be added right here. We can also add coupons and add-ons to our appointment types right here. We can also sync our equity with our Google Calendar, iCloud, Outlook.com, one-way subscription and Outlook Exchange. We were also getting this option on Calendly, but on Calendly, we can also add Zoom, WebEx and different meeting platforms. While on right here on Equity, we can just add the calendars. Similarly, we can add this to our website. So to add any of this page, this scheduling page to any of your website, 
you will get a lot of different options such as adding it to Squarespace, direct link, booking button, booking bar, embed, and client apps. The integration option is available in both of these platforms. You will be able to integrate your accounting softwares and any other software, marketing software to your equity and to your Calendly as well to help you customize your scheduling experience. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know the difference between Calendly and Equity. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.